It's good news for the Magua bandits. 11 new arrivals take their numbers to 29. The first public event is a scent marking ceremony. Boss Ela licks, sniffs, and marks the wide-eyed babies before the whole group joins in. It's important for every member to mark the new babies, formally recognizing them as the bandit's newest recruits. Unexpectedly, a late face appears from the den, a 12th baby, tiny, and with his eyes still shut tight. This is Kisu, but there's something different about him. Kisu's eyes should be open already, and he's much smaller than the other babies. He could be a burden to the group. Nevertheless, Ela gives him the seal of approval. Kisu is accepted. Adults often care for the nearest youngster. Young may stick close to one adult, but not necessarily their birth parent. Tough times are ahead. Only half of the pups are expected to survive the first three months. sightless Kisu. Life isn't a barrel of laughs. He can't play like the other youngsters, so he's not part of the in crowd. The others push him around. The banded mongoose's buddy system means each youngster tends to stick close to a single adult. In the confusion, no one notices Kisu isn't with them. Speed is essential, so they carry the babies. All the guards are on high alert. A family on the move with young is extremely vulnerable. Finally, Torkor realizes Kisu is missing. Torkor saves the day. One of the babies is too slow. The most likely victim is sightless Kisu.
Odo is successful. But youngsters must learn to catch prey themselves. Now three and a half months old, Kisu is very underdeveloped, but makes every effort to hunt. His determination is rewarded. His mentor makes sure he doesn't starve. The skillful hunter catches enough food for both of them. Kisu is only alive thanks to this close bond with Torkor. The Magua bandits need all their skills in escape and evasion. The difficulty is doubled for Kisu, who's running blind. In the confusion, Kisu is left way behind by the fast-moving pack, desperately calling for help. Torkor answers, trying to lead him to safety. Once close enough, Torkor runs by Kisu's side, calling constantly to guide him. Cries of panic let everyone know another youngster is also separated. With a leopard nearby, the situation is critical. Leopard and lion hear the distress call. makes a daredevil rescue attempt. And things go horribly wrong. The screaming youngster is snatched. So is Odu. The surviving members head back to the den. Kisu still led by Torko, his steadfast protector. There is some good news. Kisu's eyes are finally opening. The little fighter will stop being a liability and develop into a key player in the Mongoose team. loyal guardian is a strong contender to take over as top male. <laughs> <laughs>